Dumb shock. All right, reality is at the end of the day contextual, and as the meat world comes back into focus, your head once again tries to settle on which world is the real one. While the uh, philosophical question lingers, your meat body demands food and drink. You disconnect from your deck, find that the Union safe house has risen. Poor Johnny Clean, taking a nap. All right. Just in time. I've got a whole slew of new toys in from a supplier back east. Factory fresh and still smelling of their mother's gun oil. Maybe there's something in this batch you'd be interested in. Well, first... Well, let's see here. I left Calfrey on July 8, 2038 at 6.13 in the morning. It was a Thursday. Wow. Detailed. From there, I wandered a bit. Piled my skills... Applied my skills as a merc in a half dozen frozen different wars... Official or otherwise, never did take to running the shadows, like some of the boys I knew. Too subtle for my taste, I suppose. Surely there was no shortage of full-scale engagements to be had, so I didn't want for work. Might still be doing it today if I hadn't lost the arm. How'd you lose it? It was all so stupid. Some Azzies were loving smokers behind our lines, more to mess with us than anything. I just decided to toss one back, and didn't... And didn't it just figure that one I grabbed ain't a smoker? I got it off, but just barely. Shredded my whole arm, but good. Got plenty of scars to remember the moment as well. But the arm was the big one. So take a word of advice from an old soldier. Make sure you're never holding a grenade in one hand unless you just pull the pin with the other. Yeah, sounds good. Now, if I haven't given you any reason to, uh, to doubt my professional competence, how about we talk turkey? What can I get you? Let's see what you've got. All right, a katana. Same damage, though. I don't know. Should I spend the money just because it's, you know, a katana? No, I go with an axe. A little more damage. Totally cool with me. And actually, I still keep katana, too, I could. Mm -hmm. Confirm. Peace. All right. All right. David looks almost as tired as you do. You can tell that this case has gotten under his skin like it has yours. Any luck in there? We found an exact match for the DNA, but it was linked to a dead chop shop assistant by the name of Silas Forsberg. Now I have my theories, but what do you think is going on here, Trax? I'm not thinking Silas faked his death. That's a distinct possibility. What was it that we saw in the autopsy report? Face so mangled. Dental records to identify him. Good catch. These match. That matches up with something I've seen runners try. It's easy enough to find a body shop that'll make a replica set of teeth for you. Find some schlub off the street no one will miss. Swap the teeth and throw the heat off your trail for a while. Lucky I've never been that desperate. But why would we, he need to go to those links? Did the police records have something linking him to a different crime? Uh, get a prior for unlicensed plastic surgery? Don't think that's enough, but I'll go with that. True, it wouldn't look too good on someone's record if they wanted to become a doctor. I think this is beginning to come together. The late Silas left all his belongings to a doctor. That's the one whose body he used. Dr. Holmes, employment records have... Him as the administrator of at Mercy Hospital, and the picture on his file matches the person you saw downtown. The same person this DNA belongs to. All the evidence points to him being your killer, whoever he really is. Sorry, one second. May have to stop the stream early. We'll see. All right. Let's go ask him some questions. Please pay him my respects. I always find that high caliber rounds get the message clear. You should clearly hit, hire some friends and go loaded for bear. I sided, side loaded a ton of valuable data from the Lone Star Matrix node. Here's your code cut. You're not coming? I think my part here is done. You might want to go sticking your hand into a hornet's nest, but I'm a little more wary of the jobs I take these days. Oh, come on. Who doesn't want to stick their hands in a hornet nest? Come on. Isn't that so fun? <laughs> All right. All right. 
let's see what new armor we've got here. Ganger mask. Alright, shock gear. Alright. Although the ganger mask looks pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. I don't need that quickness. Good look for me, right? Um, okay, that was strange. Cockroach in my eggs. Hey, it's just protein. <laughs> Algernon looks the same as always, so much so that one may wonder if he ever takes time to eat or sleep. Perhaps his presence on this plane of existence is insubstantial enough that he isn't subject to such base needs. Or perhaps he just does these things when no one else is looking. Dark clouds surround you, my friend, but perhaps there is something I could provide that w would help with whatever weighs so heavily upon you. What's new in the world of magic? The spirits are stirring. Something has upset the natural order. There is something new, different. Uh, crazy shit. Alright, Algernon takes a hard look at you for what may be the first time. But this is the hard look of a magician whose eyes pierce the veil of reality and burrow through a man's soul. I can see you have met with disturbing visions. But there is something else out there, something not born of life, as other spirits are. Shaking his head, Algernon opens his clasped hands to you as if begging forgiveness. Too often this world leaves us unconfounded. I pray I have not let you in a, such a state with my wildly musings. I ugh. can't read today. Please, can I be of service to you today? Let's see what you've got. Alright. Still not. All those beautiful spellers I can't choose. Alright. Uh, so, I have tons of money. I'm just going to upgrade haste for now. It's not like it's it's the same increase, but for a longer duration, which is nice, because the other one is just three rounds. Why is that one? Two extra points, three rounds. Wow, haste one and haste two are... Okay, two rounds, three rounds, and then, of course, the best. Will be uh, possibly two AP and I think four rounds, the next one. That's why I'm going for haste four. All right, you guys think this All right, um... I think that's all I need. I don't need any other spells, really. But I could... All right, uh... Get rid of haste. One, I do not need that. Don't really need the machete. Yeah, cool, I have two weapons. Alright, Dr. Sarah Castle. Just one glance is all that you need to tell the good doctor is exhausted. Her crumbled scrubs are stained with a mix of blood and other fluids too colorful to be naturally occurring in the human body. Her eyes are those of a person who has built up a substantial sleep debt and has no idea when or how to begin paying it off. I'm not one to talk, but you look like Drek. Afraid there isn't much I can do for that. Doc Castle snaps her fingers and calls forth the spirit normally seen perched on her shoulder. It appears from out of the other, and the doctor immediately seems less fatigued than she was a moment before. Now, what can I do for you? Alright, everything alright, Doc? Here at the Union? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just getting back myself. So, not at the Union, not okay. Days here tend to be slow, so I volunteer at a medical center on the other side of Touristville, and I had a rough shift. What happened? What always happens? Some run, or some deal, or some meat went south. One thing led to another, etc., etc. Blood and guts. I didn't hear all the details. All I really know is that is what came in on the lips of the victims healthy enough to still speak. Apparently, one of Baron's games incurred the wrath of the local Sulpa rings. 
leading to a rolling shootout throughout the city streets. Several bystanders were injured. But the real mess didn't begin until the party crashed into the yard of an old industrial plant out on Union Hill Road. They woke some sort of toxic spirit, spirit, which then began running amok, causing easily as much damage as the initial battle. And we were left to pick up the pieces, of course. But enough about my troubles, let's hear about yours. Tell me what ails you. Alright, I'm not going to get cyberware, so I just check out the same old, same old kits. Never mind. Moving on. Delilah, what you doing downstairs? If you're looking for runners again, I'm your guy. Discreet service. Uh, I think I'm ready to go on, but yeah, nothing upstairs. Don't need to go. Uh, 12 karma. I wish I could remember it was six or seven that I need for. Alright. Academic. Let's see. What have we been dealing with that I can increase? Gain? Not so much anymore. Security, corporate, social life, or academic. Any mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger. Yep, that old thing. At this point, I'm good with whatever I go with. Uh, I'm not going to go with academic. Um, let's go with security. Or, you know what, actually? Just conjuring and then destroying. Let's take a body up as that. No. Let's do that right now. It's crazy that I'm spending so much uh, karma for just one spell. But yeah, it's all good. Okay. So something... There's Shannon. I thought I'd get a run with Coyote already. But I do not see her. So, are the fixer contacts now as expensive as the freaking? Oh, okay, almost. Um, yeah, I'm still making a profit, so let's see, who do I want to go with? Product Mage, Combat Adept, Decker. This guy, he's got everything. <laughs> But his skills in each really suck. Don't need more shamans. And Tech Master. Decking is okay. Yeah, I'll take Aruba. He's a little split on his skills though. But basically the same. And he's got a drone, so. Unless. Yeah, I like the samurai last time around. He did good. And I don't necessarily need Rager, so I just go with it. Go with the Decker. Yes, won't even have. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's actually better than the more expensive guy. Save money, get better uh, skills. I'll take that. 